What's up guys, it's Ushan and you're watching my channel Switch to I. If you're new to this channel then please press the subscribe button. If you subscribe to my channel then you will get informational videos about Apple, Mac, iOS and video editing tips and tricks and many more. Let's get started with the today's topic as LumaFusion 2.4 is out and lots of things are changed uh, as compared to previous version. We are getting more manual control before starting the project. Uh, we are getting a uh, picture profile and HDR support. Now we can edit raw footages on our iPad and we are getting uh, advanced chroma key and luma key. I have tried out uh, and it's working very nice and we are getting one more new thing that is invert crop. I have uh, tried to make something new with example explaining what we can create using this invert crop tool as I am learning and as I discovered new things uh, how to use this tool invert and crop I will make a video on it if you like this video then give a big thumbs up and share with your friends they will also found helpful so let's get start with today's tutorial so we are here back in luma fusion let's start luma fusion the screen has been changed and they have written created by luma touch start with new project as you see the thing is little different after updating to luma fusion 2.4 as you can see the manual control that is frame rate frame aspect color space okay and they have written based on the first video clip added it means when you first import a raw footage it will accept that first clip setting to the entire project okay there are different different uh, aspects and frame rates and here is the new thing that is standard rec 709 color space and there is rec 709 10 bit and there are white gamut hdr hlg right now if you see i am recording using a sony zv1 uh, hlg format and in color mode is 709 okay this standard rec 709 is color space format which is compatible with uh, every display mobile display okay and if you see this wide gamut hdr hlg and this hdr 10 pq p3 d65 hlg these are hdr 10 bit color spaces okay this is wide gamut HDR HLG commonly used color space and mostly compatible with Google browser Chrome browser wide gamut HDR 10 PQ is for high end users means specific for it will specifically work with specific uh, monitors uh, spatial monitors and this wide gamut HDR is uh, D65 HLG it is for Apple displays for latest iPads and latest i displays but I will recommend it you to use uh, this rec 709 if you are 10 bit you can use 10 bit rec 709 why this is because we are into uh, YouTube support that is what are the best uploading settings for YouTube in that you will see recommended color space for HDR upload that is BT709 okay so that right now this color space is supported by YouTube if you are creating content for social media so I will recommended you to use this BT709 okay here uh, I will be showing you the different setting see uh, on my Sony ZV1 I used HLG format if you see my color mode is 709 okay so there will be no color difference when you import your project into luma fusion first we are going to see the automatic settings based on first video clip added okay so what will happen if we use a raw footage like I have this raw footage 
I'm going to import and let's see what will happen. If you see the color space by default is 709. Why? Because I have selected this 709. Okay. And it's 120 frame. The project frame is 120 frame. Okay. But I will tell you one more thing before starting any new project on Luma Fusion. Kindly create a manual setting like frame aspect because many times we create cinematic movies. Okay, so select 23.98 frames. Okay, aspect according to our project need 16 is to 9 and use this setting as a color automatic setting if you don't know uh, much more about it. Okay, but do this manual settings frame rate and frame aspect. Okay, see now I'm going to drop this. Let's see the project is 23.98. Why this is because we are going to slow down this footage. We are going to get a very good result. See, very slow shot. And when we export it, use ultra setting if you are exporting 4k clip use extreme by default 100 mbps because we have recorded this clip on 100 mbps so it will be very good if we export this on 100 mbps when you are exporting on 4k okay it will give you very good and smooth result okay if you are using transition on your project then it will looks very smooth for that's why we are using 100 mbps okay so this is all about color space now we are going to see hevc transparency option it's a very great feature that luma fusion has brought see right now if you see one two three four four layers has been used to create this logo reveal and many times what happened we don't have that transparency option before this update so we have some problem exporting transparency so now we can export it go to movies photos select hevc with transparency okay use quality export it on high okay and quality will be ultra and export it many time it's happened that we create a very good lower third we create very good transition or logo reveal because of this option hevc transparency it's very get easy to import into any new project So this is all about HEVC transparency. So now about invert crop. If you see this invert crop option, you can see this new uh, option in frame and fit. Go to cropping and here you will see a cropping option. Okay. So I have created one example of invert and crop okay like this you can create it how I created this this is a plain file okay plain clip if you see I have created a shape okay then go to frame and fit go to cropping turn on this option invert option okay then use these parameters to crop it okay and I have given some key framing see so first clip will come second clip will come and third okay so like this you can create different different things this tool is also new to me so I'm also learning as I learn how to use this tool correctly I will make a tutorial on it
so now let's talk about chroma key the new advanced chroma key let's play the example see it's looking very awesome as she is looking into the vr so if you see this is the green screen okay go to chroma key previously there are different different types of keys so now we got only chroma key and luma key okay let's uh, learn how to use this new chroma key so i will delete this first okay then again go to chroma key and activate it as we activate it it's looking good but if you see the edges are not so good okay so we have to correct it so with the help of this masking tool just turn on see just arrange saturation okay adjust little bit blurness let's see how it's look now it's looking correct now so we have more manual control on chroma key now so now let's go to luma key here i have used luma key on my previous christmas project christmas together see i hope this christmas will again we are going to play it I got this clip from story blocks okay I turn off this light leak and now we are going to see how I use this clip see it's red okay and I have used blending mode also to hard light okay and now turn on this Let's check another clip. Turn off. It's looking like this. Okay. So what I did is turn on this. Let's delete it first. Go to Luma key. Okay. Turn on this mask. Okay. If you see there are some red things. So what we have to do? Completely off. it's now looking pure white okay so turn off this now see the results there is no redness it's absolutely working fantastic okay so this is about luma key and it's working very good so this is all about new luma fusion 2.4 I hope you love this tutorial then give a big thumbs up and share with your friends they will also found it useful till then take care stay safe and happy holidays see you in the next video